welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing the booktube newbie tag. <laughs> I originally wasn't gonna do this. As you can see, this is like my fourth video. If this goes up in the order, I think it's gonna go up in. I wasn't gonna do it because it just makes me nervous. I feel like with these kind of tag videos, I should plan my answers, but then I'm not giving you like an authentic, you know, an authentic answer. But, you know, most people when they're starting out do a booktube newbie tag. It's a good way to get to know the person for the first time and I just kind of felt like I should probably do it. Also, they get quite a lot of views. So. <laughs> I don't know who originally started this tag. Um, if you know, comment down below and I will pin the comment. But I think it's a bit of a difficult tag to track down who originally started it. So I don't know if I want to credit. But if you know, do let me know. So the first question is, why did you start this channel? For me, I really wanted... Not only to talk to people about books, right? That's the answer everyone gives. Like, I wanted to talk to people about books. I wanted to, to discuss books with people, which is, like, true for me, obviously. But I also love the creative element of it. Um, and for a long time, I hadn't... I didn't have anything that was, like... That was that creative element for me. I always need something creative in my life. At GCSE, I did graphics and drama. I then did drama again at A-level. And then, although I've been at uni this year and there is creative elements to my university course it wasn't like enough and I really love editing I really love uh, filming I love talking to the camera talking to people about books so that's a really big part of it for me as well getting to know people in the booktube community is probably just as big of an amount as a reason as well but um, I feel like that's kind of like an element that not a lot of people talk about and for me kind of the creative element is something that I do really enjoy. I'm not a big picture taker though. I'm, I don't love bookstagram. Like, I mean, doing it myself. I'm really struggling a bit. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot more pressure. And yeah, I, I don't know. Hopefully I'll improve on that. That's my goal, to improve on that. Yeah, so for me, talk to people about books and have something in my life that's kind of creative and is keeping me busy because before this I was, I was not busy. <laughs> She wasn't booked up. She was not booked up. <laughs> the next question is, what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube? <laughs> Does anyone else feel like this is just such a hard question to answer yourself? I guess we're trained not to talk up ourselves and to praise ourselves, but I don't know, maybe we should. So what can I bring? I feel like something that's unique about me is that for a long time I stopped reading. I read a lot all my life growing up and then she got into a relationship three years ago and she didn't read for a while because she was busy doing other things. <laughs> yeah, I guess just, I was in my first relationship and I was really busy with A-levels and reading just phased out. I didn't have anything that was exciting me to read and I just like lost all all motivation to read. So what is unique about me is that I haven't read a lot of the kind of like booktube hyped books. I haven't read a lot of them. There's a lot of authors I haven't read. There's a lot of series I haven't read. And so what I think is unique about me is that I can read them for the first time now and like you get a new reaction which I don't think you get a lot now because everyone's read them already. I'm going to do a series called Reading My First. I've got some really exciting videos lined up for that. Obviously my first one of that has come out, Reading My First Thriller. I'll link to that up above whichever side um, and in the description so you can watch. There's a lot of genres I've never read before, a lot of authors like I said that I haven't read before and in that series um, I'm going to be reading lots of different things for the first time so I feel like that's something unique about me whereas everyone else is kind of I don't know not reading everyone's read a graphic novel everyone's read a thriller everyone's read a Stephen King and I haven't done any of that so I feel like that's something that's going to be unique about my channel is that you're going to be following me experiencing all of those different things for the first time also my editing I don't I wouldn't say my editing is unique I think a lot of people edit like me but I think it's fun so I think we can have fun over here. The next question is, what are you most excited about for this new channel? For me, just the whole experience. I'm excited to get to know people. I'm excited to read with people. I'm excited to take part in more readathons. I've only ever really done one readathon and that was the Reading Rush this year. I usually don't participate because a lot of the books that I want to read don't fit things and I don't know, it just doesn't really work out for me. But um, it's definitely something that I want to start doing more. I'm excited to have this channel grow and to work on it and to 
um, improve it. I'm really, I'm really excited to learn more through doing this channel and also just to get to talk to people about books more. I know I said that already and everyone says that but on my first video I uploaded I remember I got so many comments and I just felt so lucky that all these people were wanting to engage and talk about the books that I was reading and I just felt so so lucky. I was just walking around like with a smile on my face. I just think that this community is brilliant and I'm I'm just so excited to be a part of it because everyone here is so lovely, so supportive, you know, people sharing my videos of their own accord, people talking about me, like it's just crazy, like I just feel so lucky to be a part of this already and I'm only gonna get to know more people and become like more embedded in it I guess, so that's really what I'm excited for. Next question is why do you love reading? bit of a loaded question. <laughs> I love reading fiction to like go into another world, that's what everyone says, but I'm constantly astounded by like the imagination that authors have and just bringing these books to life. It's just insane to me, like they're so so talented. I want to write a book one day but I honestly don't know like how I would do it. It's just insane creating this world in your head and then putting it onto paper and creating these amazing stories. Yeah, I really love reading fiction to experience worlds that I never could have dreamt up myself and stories I never could have dreamt up myself. That's like a really great story for me like when I couldn't have, when I feel like that wasn't something that was in my brain already if you get what I mean. And I also love reading non-fiction. I know it's not necessarily like a massive thing on booktube but I do want to talk about it more because I think that's something unique about me as well that I read a lot of non-fiction. At the start of the year I was reading a fiction book, a non-fiction book, a fiction book, a non-fiction book but then we got to a point where there was more fiction books that I went to than non-fiction so I don't read it that often at the moment. I love learning more about communities other than my own, beliefs other than my own, um, concepts, you know race, class, gender, all of those things. I think it's so so important that we educate ourselves on that and I believe that reading non-fiction makes us better fiction readers because we understand concepts such as race, class and gender and how to apply them in fiction when it's done right and when it's not and I think it makes us better more critical readers and book reviewers so for me I think non-fiction is so so important and I definitely want to talk about it more on my channel and encourage more people to read non-fiction books because there's some brilliant ones out there you can fly through at the pace of a fiction book. I mean not all of them at the moment. <laughs> this is filmed quite far in advance because I'm going to uni but at the moment I'm reading The Secret Barrister which is about uh, the court system in the UK and the judicial system in the UK and it is a slog. I'm gonna try and read a lot today but girl. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> it is, it's slow, but it's so important to know this. It's so important for me to learn about this and to educate myself on this. So although it is a slower read and it means I'm not going to read as many books this month, I think it's so, so important that I read stuff like this personally for me because fiction is brilliant, it takes us into another world, but we also need to make change and create change in the world that we're in now. And I think reading non-fiction really helps us to do that. The next question is what book or series got you into reading? Now there's a lot of different answers for this. Let me, let me just have a think. <laughs> I read as a kid, you know, throughout my whole childhood. So it's difficult for me to pinpoint certain books that got me into reading. I read, I loved Twilight. <laughs> I read that in year four. So I was like young. I was like, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me, let me work this out. Let me... I think I was eight or nine when I read Twilight. <laughs> Questionable choices were made. No, I, it was fine. I think it's fun to read Twilight when you're eight or nine. One week I was reading Twilight and run, one week I was reading Anne of Green Gables. Like, my reading tastes have always been a mix. And more recently, uh, last year I reread all of Harry Potter and I only read 15 books last year. This is something I want to talk about more in depth in another video. How I went from reading one book in 2017, 15 in 2018 and then I'm currently on like 55 I think already in 2019 um, and how I've been able to make that growth and that change but you know half the books that I read last year were Harry Potter. For me that story and that that writing, I mean, we can say what we want about it, there's criticisms of the book and J.K. Rowling, but I think at its core, that story, it's just central to like so many other books and ideas and the atmosphere that comes along with it from, you know, the whole expanse, the whole movies, everything, like 
the feeling you get when reading that is like unlike anything else like the feeling there's something that a lot of people love about the idea of being in Hogwarts and I think that's so true can you imagine me walking through <laughs> Hogwarts apparently I'd be a Gryffindor according to Pottermore I don't see it I think I'm more like Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw one of the forgotten ones <laughs> so definitely reading that last year was a great foundation for me to read a lot this year I think. This year the first book I read um, and the book that we would just want to read and read and read and read and read this year was The Secret History by Donna Tartt. I'm going to be speaking more about this in my next video that comes out so I won't touch on it too much right now but the experience of reading that and how much I loved it and th flew through it and was just totally enamoured with the story made me, it was the foundation of me reading this many books this year and I'm so lucky that I read that at the start of the year and it was just incredible, it was an incredible experience and I think that was definitely a book that got me into reading and reading this book for me is really a big reason why I'm here making these videos now. I think if I hadn't have read this I would not be here making these videos now so um, yeah, this is a really, really special book for me. The next question is, what questions would you ask your favourite booktuber? Now, this is a bit of a weird question for me. I ain't shy. Like, if I want to ask them a question, I would just ask them. Like, I'll just tweet them or like, slide into their DMs <laughs> or something. Like, I don't think... I just think it's a weird question. Like, if you've got a favourite booktuber and you've got a question you want to ask them, ask them. If they don't reply, because they're busy, they are busy people, we're all busy. Who cares? If they don't answer, that's fine. But if you've got a question, we'll ask them. Go ask them. I think we can all guess here that <laughs> my favourite booktuber is books and blah, blah. Um, I just think she's like so good at creating content from a creator standpoint. I think the video ideas that she turns out are incredible. She is so on point at the moment. She has hit her stride. Can you tell I like her? Anyway, I mention her in every video. <laughs> For me, if I wanted to ask them some questions, it would be like techie stuff, like tell me what you make your thumbnails on, what you make your end screen on, what you make your intro on, what you like. These are the questions I want to talk to people about and people who are really good at it. What's the best thing to design on? How do you think I should design this? Like my channel or whatever. All of that, that's the questions I actually want to ask people. So nothing exciting here. It's really just a boring answer. I should have made up something more interesting. And the last question is what challenges do you think you'll face with your channel? For me it's definitely I'm a perfectionist and in order to churn videos out, not churn them out that sounds bad, but to get them out quickly and regularly, you know once a week or a lot of people do twice a week, I don't know how they do it. <laughs> um, for me that's that's difficult especially going back to uni soon. I like work myself to the bone. This is like probably my biggest floor I guess. There are all exams in my life like GCSE, A level, like I work myself to a point where my mental health isn't in a good place and then I spend the summer repairing my mental health which shouldn't be the way that it is. So going back to school, juggling that at the same time as doing this and also wanting to keep my health up because I've been working really hard on my health this summer both mentally and physically, trying to do all of that is going to be a challenge time management and wanting to be regular in my output of videos is going to be a challenge. There is no denying that. But I've got so many video ideas, so many different types of videos that I want to get out for you guys that I almost don't think it will be too much of a challenge. But please hold me accountable. If I'm not uploading regularly enough, just tell me. At the moment, I'm not sticking to a schedule. I'm wanting to get videos up more than once a week but kind of once a week if that makes sense, like every five or six days or something like that. I'm not setting like, I upload every Wednesday at the moment, probably when I, if I get more successful I end up doing that, but at the moment there's not people that are like waiting for me to upload a video, like so excited for me to upload a video, right? That happens when you've got more of a following. Right now it's just about trying to get myself out there and trying to get to know more people, so I don't think it matters like uploading on a certain day. Just wanting to get videos out you know, at a good pace, because like, I think it's important on booktube to do that. I think everyone knows it's important to do that. So that's going to be my biggest challenge. But I'm so excited to do this, and this has already brought me so much joy that I, I don't think it's going to be a big, big issue. So that was my booktube newbie tag. I hope you enjoyed it. I still feel a bit weird having done it. Like, I don't know if you know me. <laughs> Who is she? <laughs> Who is she? Who is she? 
Who is she? Where did you find her? I've got some really, really excited videos lined up, so make sure you subscribe and maybe even ring the bell. <laughs> Who knows? I would really, really appreciate it. I've got so many ideas to share and I'm so excited to put them out. Yeah, I really appreciate you subscribing and liking and comment down below. I have, I have nothing. I have nothing. <laughs> I'll see you soon with another video and I hope you're well until then. Bye.